Ja, Skauer. <lacht> This video shows how to position the servo axis using the MC move relative function block. Open a program POU running in a cyclic task. Type MC move relative. Add the axis variables and inputs for execute, distance, velocity, acceleration, and deceleration. Download changes. And in debug mode, overwrite the execute variable to true. Watch on for a detailed example. This project consists of two servo axes, screw and rotary table, plus the external encoder. The axis variable logical axis numbers have been defined and have been loaded after warm start. And in a separate POU, the servos are enabled with MC power. Now the goal is to program a simple test move that can be run through debug mode right here in the code. Close the resource dialog and turn off debug mode to start programming. The positioning logic should run in the fast task. So create a new program POU named positioning with LD ladder language and add an instance positioning and open the positioning code worksheet. Clicking on the sheet, type MC underscore move relative, enter and enter again. The axis input is highlighted gray, so again, enter. The axis variable is screw. Typing S, it autofills, and enter. Now it's just a matter of assigning variables to the inputs of this block. Details on the block inputs and outputs can be found by right clicking the block for help. For motion to occur, there must be an execute input as well as non zero values for velocity, acceleration, and deceleration. Double click on the colored dot to attach a variable. At execute, the variable name can be start screw, a local variable. The data type is chosen automatically. At distance, the variable name can be distance screw. The variable can be given an initial value, say 10 millimeters. And it is important here to use the IEC syntax 10.0 since the data type is LREAL. Likewise, for velocity, the variable name can be velocity screw with an initial velocity of 5.0 millimeters per second. At acceleration, a variable can also be defined, but anywhere a variable is used, it is also possible to define what IEC calls a literal. It's a constant value that cannot change as the code runs. In the name field, first enter the data type, which I see is LREAL then the pound sign and the value 40,000.0 millimeters per second squared. The underscore is an optional IEC placeholder just for legibility. At deceleration, any item can be copied by holding down the control key while you click and drag the copy to its place. We can leave the other inputs blank and download changes. There were no errors. There goes the download and close the resource window. Now in debug mode, the values for distance and velocity have loaded. To start motion, open the execute variable by double clicking on the variable name. True is selected and click overwrite. The motor moves and the done output becomes true. To simulate variable data entered by the operator through the HMI, say for distance or velocity, double click on the variable and type in another value such as 20.0, and likewise for velocity. The decimal point is also important here. Then click overwrite or tab and enter, and the block can now be run with these updated values. But notice the literal cannot be changed by double clicking on it. Changing a literal requires changing the code, compiling, and downloading again. Thanks for watching this video. And remember yaskawa.com slash IEC for application notes, videos, firmware updates, and more.